Hey, small group leaders and small groups. Welcome to this week's small group session. Uh, Sunday was tremendous with Alan Spiegel and he taught on blessed to be a blessing. You know, a lot of teaching in the modern church is that God uh, is interested in our spiritual welfare, wants us to be spiritually blessed, but he's not all that interested in, us, in our material blessing or in our physical health and our physical blessing. But uh, I thought what Alan said this week was really powerful. It's not just that we want to be blessed and have a bunch of cars and TVs and houses and have physical health just to hoard it, but there's a purpose and we're blessed to be a blessing. And uh, so Alan opened up with saying that we are a magnet, that our, the condition of our heart, how, what we allow in our heart will uh, make us a magnet. If uh, we have failure in our heart, condemnation in our heart, poverty in our heart, we're gonna attract failure, condemnation, we're gonna attract poverty. If we have sickness in our heart, we're gonna attract sickness. And so we literally are built by God to attract whatever we allow in our heart. Genesis chapter 12, verse one and two is when God spoke the blessing over Abraham and gave him what is called the blessing of Abraham. And uh, you'll read that today in your small group. Genesis chapter 12, verse one and two says, I will bless you, make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. And then uh, also in the outline, Galatians 3, 13 and 14 tells you whether that belongs to you or, or not as a Christian. Might wanna look that up. And then the four keys to being a blessing magnet. Number one, realize you're blessed because of Jesus. Number two, count the blessings you have. Number three, change limiting beliefs. You wanna look at Proverbs 4.23 on that one uh, because the beliefs of your heart will keep you limited. And then number four, be a blessing. And then Alan got into another part of the message where he talked about uh, people that are trying to talk you out of being blessed and try to talk you out of your dream. Uh, but before he did that, he said in Zechariah chapter eight, that he would make Israel both a symbol and a source of blessing, both a symbol and a source. There may be a difference there between the two. And uh, so you'll have a chance to talk about what's the difference between being a symbol of the blessing and being a source of the blessing. And then he said, one of the greatest attract hindrances to attracting blessings is your past. And God wants to take us from the place of what it looks like to have problems to what it looks like to be blessed. And he also said that what others have said about you is not as important as what God says about you. You need to talk about that. Is that really true? Talk about that in your group tonight. And then he said, often not only is your family wrong in saying that you'll never make it, but the experts are wrong. And he went through a list of people that were massively successful that were told early on in life that they were not a blessing. And then he finishes up by talking about when a death sentence is spoken over you. What to do when somebody speaks curses over you. You may have parents that said, yeah, you're dumb, you'll never amount to anything. You may have a coach or a teacher, a spouse that says you're just stupid, you're a loser, you'll never make it. Or maybe you've spoken those curses over your own self and they need to be broken as Alan did Sunday morning. And uh, so he said, things to remember when a death sentence has been spoken over you. Number one, remember it was spoken by a broken person because healthy people do not tear down the dreams of others. Number two, you don't have to accept it. And number three, it can be overturned by you focusing on what God says about you and keeping your dream alive, staying in the word. I've got the questions here in red in the outline that your leader has, some great questions. Talk about this, apply this word, apply what was preached Sunday morning to your life and uh, renew your mind to it. God wants you more blessed than you think you wanna be blessed. You may think you're really doing good, but it's nothing compared to what God really wants for you. Appreciate you guys. Have a great week. Have a great meeting.